So what we're going to do is the cables for the rear delt flies. So it's mainly going to be for the upper, upper middle trap muscles and the rear delts a little bit as well. Um, so what we're going to do with the setup of the cables now, a lot of what's working is going to depend on the height of the cables. So for the more of the middle traps and the rear delts, then the, the cables are going to be positioned more in line with just towards maybe the upper chest area. It's not too high. So when we're moving, we have our arms a little bit lower than the shoulders. So Neris is going to step forward and he's going to reach over his right arm to grab hold of the cable here. And he's going to reach over with his left arm over to the other side. So from this position, we can step a little bit backwards as well. And he's kind of got maybe even one hand on top of the other or just her hands going into each other like this. So he's going to first engage his upper back. So he's going to squeeze his shoulder blades back together, pull his shoulders back and get a load of tension in this upper back region here. We can have the feet a little bit wider and tense up the stomach a little bit. It's going to help him be a bit more stable. And then what he's going to do is lift the cables out to the side just so he's got his arms in line with his shoulders here. So he's not about trying to come as far back as possible. He's just trying to get his elbows in line with his shoulders here and he's gonna return back to the starting position, not losing that tension here. So he's still tensing up tight in the back area. And let's go for a few reps. Now, sometimes when you're lifting a lot of weight or you're starting to get tired, and you're going to start compensating with the hips. So one thing that you can do to make it easier is, yeah, push the hips a little bit further backwards here. That's it. And then you're going to squeeze up the stomach from here. This is just a little bit more of a stable position. It's going to stop you from swinging so much back and forth. That's it. Then again, the only part of the body that's moving here are the arms. Everything else is still, there's no head movement, he's not moving his legs, he's not moving his hips back and forth, he's not rotating or anything like this, and he's not allowing the tension in his shoulders to disappear. So I don't want him to let, let the, his arms just reach all the way forward and he goes into a round of the back, and he's got to keep everything stable. That's it. And then when he's done from this position, he's going to step forward, take a couple of steps, and he's going to put one hand across to one side first, and then the other hand onto the other side. And then that's it.